love draft beer, right? Of course you do. And what can be better than enjoying a frosty pint in the comfort of your own home? Obviously, we sell a wide range of ready-to-go kegerators, but we know that option doesn't work for everyone. That's why today, we're going to talk all about converting a standard refrigerator into the beer dispensing beauty of your dreams. Sound good? All right, let's get started. You can convert many kinds of refrigerators and freezer boxes, but the one that is the most convenient and most popular is a horizontal split refrigerator. Be sure to check the depth and height of the fridge to make sure your desired kegs will fit. If you don't have enough room, consider using a low profile keg coupler. Tools you'll need, 7 8 inch hole saw, a power drill, a flathead screwdriver, a spanner wrench, and a hex wrench. You'll also need a conversion kit from kegworks.com, which includes a shank, a tap handle, a faucet, beer line with hex attachments, a keg coupler, air line, a regulator, and an air tank, which is shipped empty. And don't forget, you'll also need to pick up the keg of your fancy. Use your drill with the hole saw and drill into the desired location. Be sure to check the inside of the door and the distance from the freezer door so you can open the freezer without hitting the tap handle. Be sure to saw all the way through the door and the plastic liner on the inside of the door. Step 2. Connecting the conversion kit. Place the shank through the hole on the fridge door and tighten it with the hex screw. Attach the faucet and tighten with a spanner wrench. Attach the beer line hex connections to the back of the shank and the top of the keg coupler. Attach the air line to the nipple on the coupler and the one on the regulator. Tighten the hose clamps with a flathead screwdriver. Then attach the regulator to your CO2 tank. Tighten with a hex wrench. Again, our tanks ship empty due to federal regulations. You can get them filled at a local welding supply company, or if you're in Buffalo, right here at the Kegworks store. Make sure that the faucet and the regulator switch are both in the off position. Open the CO2 tank and attach your keg coupler. Adjust your regulator to a range of 10 to 12 PSI and then turn it on to allow the flow of CO2 to your keg. Always be sure to sand your CO2 tank and regulator upright and prevent them from falling over and rupturing the tank. Now, let's pour a pint. See? It's not so hard, is it? With the right tools, the right equipment, a spare refrigerator, and a can-do attitude, you'll be pouring pints from your newly converted kegerator in no time flat. So what are you waiting for? Head over to kegworks.com to order your conversion kit and get building today. Wow. Wow.